Shalom. I'd like to say, Barakafah, Yehah, Bless you, Mashiach, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and blessings and salutations to the elect, 144,000. Lord, when they're sealed, and bless them that the, the elect that are preaching in the highways and byways, and bless the one third, you know, may the Lord, Yehah, Bless you, Mashiach, protect them. And yeah, man, at the moment, when the Day of Atonement, well, my time is it's about to finish in about uh, half an hour. The sun's gonna do go down. And yeah, man, I just wanna go to the scripture in the book of Leviticus 23, verse 27, because I believe it was last year or two years ago. I believe it was last year. You had people saying, oh, the Day of Atonement wasn't a fast, man. It is a fast, man. The scripture talks about it, about afflicting your soul. Yeah, afflicting your soul is suffering. How do you how do you suffer by not um, giving into your desires? Everyone's natural desires is what main natural desires to eat, drink, and to multiply, have sex. In other words, man, yeah, those are the things you can't do in the day of atonement or when you're fasting, man. You go and neglect. But yeah, and it's twenty four hours, yeah. But let me just go into it. This is Leviticus 23. I'm gonna start from I'm gonna start from verse 26. Yeah, I'm gonna read from the scripture. I'll put it up there for you guys. Uh, on the blue letter there. And the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, the, the father's name is Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's the real Hebrew names. And our God, Yahweh, is the, the God of the the, the Israelites, man, Hebrew Israelites, which is you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans and Hispanics, man. Yeah, you're the real children children of God, the, yeah, the seed of um, Abra Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You're the chosen seed. Yeah, your history is in this book. You go into slavery is prophesied in this book. Yeah. And the so-called white man, he's your enemy and his name is Esau, man. And he's took, he's stolen your identity, and he's destroyed our people, man, mentally and physically, man. So we gotta get away from him, man. So yeah, verse twenty six. And the Lord Yahweh spoke unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. Yeah. And when you read um, what atonement is. Let me just look it up for you. I'm gonna change it about. So here we go. Day of Atonement. Strong's H thirty seven twenty five. Kipparim. Kipparim. Heard it there, most likely be uh, Kapar, and it just says atonement there, and I believe it links up to from Kapar, and it says to cover, purge, make an atonement, make reconciliation, which um, cover over with pitch. What, in other words, what, cloaking our sins, man. A recon, reconcil, reconciliation. Meaning what, to turn back to the Heavenly Father and acknowledge your, your, your sins. Yeah? Your sins, man. Because we sin every day. And we need forgiveness, man, every day. You know? But obviously, the Most High, Yahweh, but Shemeshai set up a specific day of one of his high holy days. That we're supposed to do service to man and that's the day of atonement we're supposed to keep it as a statue forever really you know and but well, obviously ultimately Yahweh Shai who the world because Jesus Christ is the ultimate sacrifice but you still got to keep the the high holy days man yeah you pray unto Yahweh through the name of Yahweh Shai anyway for forgiveness of sins so you see right there to cover up pacify you know Atone for sin, make atonement for, you know, it's, a, it's like a, a healing basically, man. Healing, cleansing, that's what it is, man. Yeah, so I'm going to carry on reading. 
switch it back yep so we read that verse so now one verse yeah verse 27 still also on the tenth day of this seventh month there should be a day of atonement we covered that this is like a healing cloak for sins forgiveness it should be a holy convocation and a holy assembly, man, unto you. And I listen to this, this is key. This is what a lot of people don't understand and they say, oh, it doesn't really mean fasting. It does, man. It says, and ye shall afflict your souls, yeah, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Now, we ain't got to do that because obviously Yahweh Shai is the ultimate sacrifice. But you got to be fasting and you got to be praying Basically for your sins, man. Unto Yahweh by Shemeshah. Pray for spiritual things. Pray for forgiveness. And pray for your, your, your brothers in the truth. You know. Pray for your family. Pray for your woman. Pray for some your needs. Spiritual needs. But yeah. It's like, so we're going to go into. Uh, ye shall afflict your souls. What is afflict your souls? Yeah, so we're going to look into the words. It's like it didn't come on the screen properly. Turn it. Satan, man. So here we go. So it shall be a holy convocation. You gotta keep it holy, man. It says to afflict. So let's look up the afflict. To be occupied, be busy with, to afflict, oppress, humble, be afflicted, be bowed down, man. So it's it's the day of atonement is an exercise of humility as well, man. And one of the ways of exercising humility is to um, sacrifice a, a sacrifice, meaning sacrifice your fleshly desires, man. And that's that's food, water, and, and sex. To humble oneself, bow down. But I'm gonna go to to even more detail, or to prove it even more, should I say? That's the word afflict, by the way. Now, this one, a lot of people, well, I believe it was last year, Brakfa Yah, Basham Shah, the Spirit, if, if it wasn't revealed to any other person, but the Spirit, you know, showed me um, through the word when I read in souls, when I read your souls, and it actually goes into the word appetite. And I was read over here, outline of biblical usage. Number one, soul, self, life, creature, person, appetite. Yeah, keep that in mind, appetite. Mind, living being, desire. You know, we, every day we desire food and water, man, and, and sex, man, to mate. Emotion, passion. So let's go into appetite, yeah? So there you go. Let's see appetite. Appetite says craving for food, craving to consume, man, food or water, or drink, whatever, thing that is needed for the belly. Yeah, that's what you do when you fast, you afflict your soul. Fasting is afflicting your soul. Remember when uh, Yahweh Shai, who the one called Jesus Christ, uh, if, if, uh, he was um, fasting, he was afflicting his soul. And what did Satan uh, do? The tempter come to do. He said, "Look, if you're the son of man, go and turn these um, stones into bread. Why? So he could eat. But he, the, the Lord rejected that because the Lord was fasting, man, and he don't take orders from Satan. Yeah, he takes orders from Yahweh by Shemeshah. That's what we need to do. Man.
which we know not only the elect. So, I showed you appetite, I showed you flicked your souls, goes back to, yeah, appetite. Today we're told me you got to keep it holy to the best of your ability. Pray, pray about season. Yeah? Afflict your souls. Afflict your souls means to fast. Regard the desire of food, war, sex. Work if you can. I, I, mean, I mean, you know. Don't, try not to work if you can but yeah you got to dismiss those things that I mentioned according to the scripture keep it holy and fast for 24 hours man evening to evening so with that I'm going to say may the end end the end 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 days you know, come swifter with more destruction and may we see day by day Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man's um, ruling society, and be destroyed day, day by day, man, swiftly and fast. And may the Lord return speedily. Blessings and shalom to the Akim and the sincere one-third men, women and children destined to repent. Blessings and shalom.